breaking news. The first case of Rovid virus was confirmed yesterday afternoon and today a quarter of the population has been confirmed to be infected. New Mayor Lizzie Livingston is being criticized as mayor regarding Rovid restrictions. Meanwhile, pressure is put under the healthcare system as local hospital is understaffed and overwhelmed. Students and educators are also struggling to get used to the era of online schooling. And many people are wondering, will Autumnville survive this novel virus? Join my Roblox group to become a lemon tart. And don't forget to follow me on my social media so you don't miss out on any important announcements. Subscribe and enjoy the video! Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Right now, Clover and I are just having breakfast, but as you saw on the news, there is a virus going around. It is called Rovid virus, and I'm actually very, very nervous about it. I'm not exactly sure about the statistics. This is pretty new to our town, but I'm just glad that our officials, like the new mayor, is handling it as well as she can. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go, but I really hope that it works out well. Uh, it's all over in the news as you can see let's just turn this off it's time to start the day so they did have a mask mandate put on so let's just put on our mask i do have to go to work i am technically an essential worker even though i'm just a janitor at the hospital it is because we've been having a lot more patients come in throughout the days and it's just been really really hectic and they just need someone to clean up I'm just gonna leave Clover here. We just arrived here at the hospital. As you can see, there are a lot more people here admitting themselves. I am pretty nervous about it. Hello, good morning. I'm actually so glad that they gave us masks. So the hospital is really taking care of its workers. So I'm really glad about that. I'm just gonna finish my shift over here and I still have to go to my cafe job. Can you clean up the blood upstairs, please? Okay, thank you for letting me know. I'm actually so glad that the daycare is still open for everyone else. It's actually online school, which is, you know, so different from normal school. I actually can't believe that we are in the middle of a pandemic right now. Thank you for cleaning. All good. This is my job after all. I am a little bit worried about this job because I am very close to danger. We have more people checking themselves in at the hospital due to Rovid. OMG, guys, look, it's her. She might have Rovid. Are they talking about me? How could you do that to your own daughter? Oh my gosh, I can't. How are you still on this? Girl, it's a Rovid season and you're still worried about the scandal? Oh my gosh, I can't even. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up my shift over here and then I will head to the cafe for my next job. I see a lot of people are wearing masks. However, we do still have to go through the social distancing protocols. I'm heading to my cafe job right now. So it works a little bit different now at the cafe. So this is my coworker Nana. She is really, really kind. As you can see, everything is being bagged up and people can pick them up from the cafe or we can deliver them to their house. Any deliveries that I can do? I want to go to the cafe. Hi, mommy. Mochi, please stay at home. This virus is not a joke. Oh my gosh, Mochi just got into trouble with her mama. We just received an order for spaghetti and I'm just going to make it right here. We can't really social distance with the size of this kitchen. It's quite small. And I'm going to be delivering it to their house. Our boss is actually on leave right now. She is at a luxurious resort that we have been hearing about for weeks on end. Our resort is called Palm Bliss Luxury Resort. And uh, if only I could afford something like that now. But we're actually doing pretty well without her. Without her constant yelling, you know. I'm just gonna pack this up. There we go. And I'm going to be delivering this spaghetti to the other side of town. Okay, it's this house over here. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, delivery. Here you go. And they already paid online. Thank you. Thank you so much. All good. Okay, now I'm just going to go get my car and pick up Clover. We do have to do grocery shoppings for today however the grocery is very very crowded because everyone's just been panicking you know panic buying everything hi i'm here to pick up my kid of course 
thank you. Let's just put Clover in the car and let's head to the grocery store. Okay, here is the grocery store. There's quite a lot of people here. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, everything is gone. That's insane. Um, uh, even the toilet paper, there's nothing here. And the hand sanitizers? Are you kidding me? Snatches toilet paper rolls. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have any more toilet paper rolls left? Coughs. Oh my gosh. That guy. He was just coughing. I'm so sorry, but we don't have any hand sanitizers and TP rolls left. A lot of people have already bought it. Oh my gosh. It's so unfortunate. Guys, social distance. Why is no one social distancing? I have my kid here with me. Pulls down mask. Oh my gosh. Sir. Can you not please do that? He's coughing without a mask on. Are you insane? Hey, stop pushing. Please wear your mask. Okay, I'm just gonna leave here. This is too crowded. What is happening here? Oh my gosh, it's actually the new mayor. Panic buying? Please don't fight. Oh, people are crying. People are pushing each other. That's just... That's just terrible. Everyone, please observe social distancing. Okay, yeah. I, I'm out of there. I'm just out of there. I'm not exactly sure if that person who coughed without their mask on, I don't know if we're gonna catch anything from him. I'm just concerned because Clover isn't wearing a mask. She is still a baby, so she doesn't have to wear a mask. But I'm just not sure if... Did she catch anything from that guy? Oh my gosh, this is so nerve-wracking. We finally made it home. I will just be changing Clover's diaper. But after that, we'll be going to the bigger grocery store out of town. Okay, now let's head there. I don't think this one is as busy. Oh my gosh, there's like a line out there as well. Okay, come Clover. Okay, wow, they actually have quite a lot of stuff here. Okay, let's just get some of these canned beans. We definitely need to stock up on canned food just in case of emergencies. And of course, potato chips because those are my guilty pleasure. Some bananas, of course, a lot of fruits. But these are the type of goods that do rot in a couple of days. Oh my gosh, look at our trolley. It's full. We don't need any more Bloxiades at home. We have a lot of that. Definitely a lot more canned foods. Ah, okay, that's great. We managed to get everything we want, even toilet paper. Can you believe it? They actually have it here. Let me just put it here in the trunk and let's go home oh my gosh this has been such a long day i am so tired but that guy i can't keep my mind off of him i i don't know if he uh i don't know if he gave clover something that's the thing uh, i'm gonna lose my mind just thinking about this well i guess we will have to wait okay we are home i'm just gonna get the groceries from the trunk the thing with Clover is that she has to stay at the daycare because I do have work. It means that she's also putting others at risk if she does have the virus. Let me just put the groceries away. Here are the groceries. I've put them away and I just put the fruits in the fridge so that way they don't go bad easily. But for now, I'm just going to leave these on the counter. I'm just going to put down Clover and take off my mask because... It's really suffocating, you know, but I do know that I have to wear it. Ah, oh, finally. Ah, oh, I can finally breathe. Let me just get food for Clover. Here you go. Eat up. And I'm just gonna get some salad for me. I do have salad left over from yesterday. Because I am Clover's mom and I take care of her, of course, if she does have the virus, I probably will get it too. And money's already tight right now. And I can't afford to not work. I don't know what this is going to do to us, but I'm really hoping for the best. I really hope that we both didn't catch anything. My paranoia isn't going to do anything and we will just monitor for symptoms for now. And stay tuned for next episode to see if we caught the Rovid virus. Thank you to everyone who helped me film this video. You guys are such good actors. I'm not even kidding. It was so cool and epic. That's all I can say. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down any suggestions down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.